Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR. This is our 3D sculpting program. In addition to carving and creating tools, today we're gonna look at something called the smooth tool. So we've seen how we can build up our shapes and our forms, and how we can then carve away from these shapes and forms to make the pictures and the sculptures that we're looking for. But you may have noticed, depending on the size and shape you're sculpting with, some of these edges can be kind of rough. Some of these textures can be kind of rough. We have built in tool number three on our sphere list is called the smooth tool, smoothing brush, where we can take these rough edges and smooth them down, round them out, blend them in. Not only does this work with our shapes and our pieces like that, but if we go in with different colors as well, I'm gonna go in with a couple of different colors into my picture here. Colors here, and a few colors here. And then we're gonna carve in so we can see some of those colors from the inside. So with this smoothing tool, smoothing brush, it looks sort of like a little iron over here. This, just like the other tools, we can make larger and smaller by using our thumb control. Up for larger, down for smaller. Now we can blend the shape outline, the actual polygons. We can also blend the way the colors blend together. So you can see all of my lines are fairly sharp right now. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So if I go in with a basic, it's shape and color. If I start smoothing in here, you can see how it not only does it blend these ridges into a smoother rounded ends, but it's also blending the colors together. The green and the purple are all smearing together, blending the shape and the colors. I can now use the top control instead of going between create and carve. This lets you blend shape only, so it'll change the outline, but not the colors. Color only, so it'll blend the pink and the purple, but it will leave the sharp edges of the ridge lines there. Or we can finally blend them both, shape and color, so both the pink and the ridge lines get blended and rounded. The size of your object also affects the relative smoothing. So now my smooth brush is so much bigger than the object. Now let's move this close to the camera so you can see how smooth that crater has become. These edges out here are fairly jagged. Smooth those edges down. Here's some more jagged edges. Smooth those jagged edges. Round those jagged edges out. It's a very useful tool for blending pieces together. So if I've got my purple shape here, and you can see how I can see the different brush strokes in my shape here. If I go in with a nice big smoothing tool, I can start to blend those lines together, smooth those separate shapes out, hide the different brush strokes. So now we still have some contour, but it's much smoother, much more blended. If I go in with another line, let's grab that same purple, and I draw some stuff like that on the surface, I can now use the smooth tool to blend that down into the surface. So now it feels like it's much more a part of it and no longer something that was added in, added on top. This actually looks like it's coming out of the surface a little bit better. So the smoothing tool to blend both colors and shapes. Now you'll notice it does sort of erode away the shape. So if I have a small piece like this out here and I start to smooth it down, 
You can see how it's getting smaller and smaller the more I smooth it. So it's possible to smooth these little details away completely if you overdo it. You can see it's getting smaller and smaller until there's very little left of that original piece. Fortunately, I can undo. Each click of undo brings a little bit more of that shape back until I find the space I want. I can also change the size of the sculpture and the size of my smooth tool. Now I won't erode away quite as much as the time. I have a little more control over exactly where the edges get smoothed. So this is a great tool, especially for making your final sculpture feel a little more polished, a little more blended. Find those details that stand out to you. Blend them back in a little bit more. Whoops, let's get you back a little smaller. Blend you in to find where those rough edges are and, and polish them out. Now, the layer you're using, whether it's smooth, polygon, or cube, will also have an effect on this. And we go into detail in the layers episode about how that looks. But this smooth brush tool will work in any of your shapes, and it's all about finding those rough edges and smoothing them down, blending them together. Whether it's the rough edges of a color or a shape, the smooth tool brings back that wonderful, organic, blended kind of feeling. Works on any size sculpture, any size brush. We find those broken points. Come here, you. Shrink you down. Smooth you out. No more jaggies in my sculpture. I hope this is helpful. It's a part of our ongoing free series, Teaching Sculpture. Uh, teaching Sculptor VR, since this is in virtual reality. So join us each uh, episode. Let us know if you've got questions. Let us know if there's specific tools or techniques you'd like us to, to demonstrate. We do this every week live on Twitch TV. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Shameless Mayhem and here on YouTube.com slash Shameless Mayhem as well. Thanks for joining us. I look forward to seeing what sculptures you guys create. Have fun, everybody.